Hey guys, welcome to another video. This is my life right now, a walker. I have all of this stuff here. Um, so, little update. I'm obviously home. I did have my hysterectomy. And, yeah, I had it Monday. I came home Tuesday. I don't even know what today is. I think it's Thursday. But basically, my uterus was so big that, look, it's a picture of me and my dad, that it tore my vagina in two different places. Um, so then they had to, like, put gauze in there and basically the nurse that had come and released me took the catheter out of me and the IVs and then told me that I needed to schedule an appointment as soon as possible like two to three days with my oncologist so he could remove the gauze and so when we were leaving the hospital Anne's mom had called my oncologist's office scheduled the appointment and then we get home she goes up to take a nap I'm sitting in the recliner getting ready to probably also take a nap when my oncologist appointment call or office calls me and she goes yeah we see you have a post-op appointment in two days and I was like yeah I was told to do that and she said we don't do post-ops except for like two weeks after or three weeks after and I said well the lady had told me that I needed to come in so I could get the gauze removed from my vagina she goes uh no let me call doctor my doctor's name um and I'll call you back and I said okay so then she called my doctor and then she ended up calling me back and said you need to go back to the hospital right now and have it removed that the, basically my doctor had left a um, discharge note that stated that once the catheter comes out, so does the gauze before I were to leave the hospital. So, yeah, she didn't do that. So I had went back and then we had to walk pretty far to the emergency room where I obviously was in pain. So I was like groaning like, mm like, you know, in pain, and this lady told me to shut the F up, we all have problems, or whatever, and I told her, basically, you don't know my problem, so no thank you, or whatever, but I don't, I'm pretty sure she was talking to me, but she could have also been talking to Ian's mom, because she was on the phone, trying to get a hold of somebody, I don't even know, my oncologist's office, or like, the level 7, or 7th floor, or whatever, which is where I was, um, but basically, yeah, so we go back or whatever, I had to go pee in a cup, and when I did, my freaking, the, I realized the gauze was hanging out of me, touched the nasty toilet water, and then I pulled, I had to pull my pants up, obviously, I couldn't pull the gauze out, so it was disgusting, and then, Basically, we get to a room, and I take all my clothes off and put a ro uh, gown thing on, and then um, we go into this room with um, the chairs that have the um, legs, leg things on it. I can't think right now, um, but yeah, so I told the guy to, like, please don't, like, rip it out of me. Like, can you at least, like, be gentle and slow because it hurt? And no, he didn't care. He yanked on that thing so freaking much. I felt like I had dry sandpaper, 12 feet of dry sandpaper just coming out of my hoo-ha. It hurt so bad. I was screaming and crying. And at the end, all I remember saying is, I just want to be with my dog. Um, speaking of that, also, when I went into the operating room, it kind of hit me that it was really happening. And they had my arms out on the sides of the bed where I'm guessing is where they like tape your arms down so you don't like, I don't know, move even though you're sleeping. 
Um, but I was so scared and like the guy over me was like, everything's going to be okay. And the lady on my left was like holding my hand and like caressing my hand. And he was the general anesthesia guy, doctor, whatever came in and he was like, what do you like to do in your free time? And I said, spend time with my dog. They asked me what type of dog they asked me her name. And then, um, basically I had looked at the guy and I said, please don't let me die. I need to get back to my dog. And then the anesthesia guy told me, I'm going to need you to close your eyes and have sweet dreams of sky. And we'll see you in a little bit. And as soon as he said that, I felt like a cold rush over me and I was out and that was it. So I have five incisions on my stomach, across my stomach. Um, and another part, so before surgery, I had started obviously eating healthy and stuff to get my A1C and glucose down to a good level. Um, so I was eating salads and I didn't know that salads could bind you up. So I was constipated before my surgery and after my surgery. Yesterday, I sat on the toilet screaming like I was giving birth. It hurt so bad. Mind you, you're not supposed to push, obviously, because you just had a hysterectomy, but it hurt so bad. And finally, after I got the blockage out, TMI. Um, everything's fine now. I'm taking stool softener. Um, I'm also on painkillers also. They don't really seem to do much, really. Um, it's just, you know, it takes the edge off, I guess, of the pain. But other than everything else, I mean, everything's fine. Um, so today is Thursday. I had surgery Monday. And Sky's still not here. She's still in boarding because she wants to wake me up 20,000 times a night to let her outside. And I just physically can't do that right now. It feels like I've done like a billion push ups. Like my stomach is tight and hard and not. Is it hard? I mean, not really. But it's definitely like it feels like tight and like tired. My calf also hurts, which is weird, but it's probably because I've been walking, like, hunched over. Because my stomach weighs a lot. So, yeah. But, hysterectomy is over. Also, the oncologist said, I only, like, I was, like, half out of it when he came to the room. But I do recall him saying that there was, he didn't see any evidence of cancer that grew outside of my uterus so he does believe that the cancer has all been removed now i have a post-op appointment on august 17th which i will find out more information about all that um because he also did like biopsy on the lymph nodes or something like that i don't know but also <clears throat> my neck it hurts my jawline hurts I'm like really swollen. I mean, I'm already fat, but you could tell like I'm swollen all over here. These um things, I don't know what they're called, the blood vessel things, arteries hurt. My throat right here hurts. These things hurt. Um, I think they ended up putting a tube in my throat, but they didn't tell me that, so I'm just assuming cuz I don't know why else everything would be hurting. Um, I do have some IVs holes. I have one here. I have two here. Um, and I have one here. Um, I wasn't even worried about the IVs. Like, it didn't even bother me. I didn't even care. I mean, um, my incisions are actually glued shut. So that's kind of terrifying. But also, I'd rather them be glued than sewed or stapled. Um, my stomach hurts. Uh, 
Also, Ian got me this cute teddy bear that Sky tried to eat before my surgery, and it says get well soon. And it's like one of those plushy ones. Oh my god, so soft. But yeah, this is my life right now. Um, I'm going to drink this water because I need to stay hydrated and try not to get constipated again. Because that was not fun. That was like so painful. But anyway, I love you guys and I just wanted to update you. I did have an update video until all that gauze stuff happened the other day and it's just been constant but I'm I think finally I could just sit and relax you know um also I had a lady that I spun for a waffle and oh, I have a dream reborn kit that I really wanted and it's Kai and it has blonde hair and I really wanted it but I didn't get to plan the waffle because I was broke and also like getting surgery and it was a winner's choice so the girl who won actually chose the other baby and not Kai so she had messaged me and told me she wanted me to have Kai and I cried so hard because there's just so much evil in this world and for her to just do this for me like ugh, my heart but anyway I'm starting to cry because I'm a little emotional I'm a little bit in pain um but I love you guys so this is a new start to a new life and I'm excited to bring you guys on this new journey so, maybe I should change my name to Amanda's New Journey. Who knows? I might. But I love you guys, and stay safe.